Hey, I'm Andrew McKinley. I've lived in Cincinnati five years. I moved here from the West Coast, San Francisco, California, and I'm enjoying it. I'm here with my friend George, George Kurz, Kurtz or Kurz? Kurz. Kurz. Yes, thank you. Who is sponsoring a wonderful show downtown, just across from the public library. Yeah. And I love the town. I was had a bookstore in San Francisco. I'm thinking of opening one in Cincinnati, yeah. but uh, I'm not sure what the right location is. I know books are having a resurgence, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, and my friend Brandon from Conveyor Belt across the river. Oh uh, yes, a very fine store. You have to take your people walking down Pike Street up, okay. and in Covington sometimes. Yes, yes. And yeah, that's a beautiful and walk visit the store up. there. That's a gorgeous little neighborhood. But um, this show is about New York in yes. the 70s and 80s, and we're up for a couple more weekends, and would love to have as many people come by um, free. Uh, yeah. And it's... Uh, I went to school in New York in the 70s. Oh, you, you, uh, is a, uh, what, uh, part of this, uh, the exhibition, what are the photos that kind of capture your, uh, the, the things that influence you socially and intellectually? Well, I see Richard Hell and the Voidoids as a very yeah. famous punk band, which we can work there, we can I used to, yeah, yeah, I used to um, see them at CBGB's. Yeah. Oh, you were in, a CBGB person? Yeah. Um, television was a big band. Yes. So George has this greeting you as you come in. Mm -hmm. Then here's a picture of Robert Maplethorpe, who was very big in New York. He hooked up with Patti Smith. Mm -hmm. His, their book, their memoir, just, just kids. Just kids. And this, these were taken uh, in that era when they, be, Patti was a poet, and Robert. Uh, we just make drawings. They were starving kids living in the Chelsea, and um, you know this beautiful picture of Patty with her Keith Richards haircut. Um, and they, part of the reason they took these photos is to sell the jewelry they were making to survive. Um, mm -hmm. So there's a lot of these little stories that come through this exhibition that was all new to me. Um, I didn't. Um, this book, or the, the curation of the show, ended up teaching me so much more about the backstories mm. behind what was going on. Like, we knew Patty as a musician and performer, but he didn't know uh, until just kids came out what was behind it. And I found that book fascinating, but that same thing exists for almost every artist in the show. Um, yeah, I was lucky. I, I mean, I grew up in New York for college. Uh, did you spend much time there? In a, in I just uh, knew it mostly from people I knew that moved there, and I would go visit them. Yeah, but I mean, it's a great experience. But I, I'm liking Cincinnati. It's a smaller place. It's more doable, and I, I feel very comfortable here. So, uh, well, George I, is one of the great. He's a collector. Maybe a hoarder. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> and uh, he, he has one of the best modern art collections in the area. Oh. So um, he's, well, and when he gets behind something, he gets behind it in a big way. Well, I think and, it's also exciting to see how many young people are coming to Cincinnati to be part of the arts community and, or staying here, because it used to be more common that they would they would grow up here and their first chance they get, they would move out. And I think we're building uh, a much stronger, younger community around it. So it's a, it's, I've been here since 86 uh, or so. So in that span, it's changed dramatically. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's becoming, I think people, first of all, you're get, getting priced out of the San Francisco's and the New York's. So, um, and with social media, you can experience a lot of what's going on there and still live in a town like Cincinnati. And hopefully, like Brandon, he lived in New York. He had a, a bookstore there. Yes. And he came here and said, you know, I'm going to bring a little bit of uh, 
I'm yeah, so glad that you've hooked here. up with yeah, me. Yeah, so how uh, Cincinnati has received uh, the culture you guys are bringing? Uh, oh, it's amazing. And again, it, it has been one of the most heartening things to me is how many young people come in and they know these people that were so influential. Uh, you know, even some of the more obscure ones that I don't know. And they'll have fixated on one little element of, uh, you know, the art scene from back then. And this is the person that's influencing them. And a couple kids in yesterday saying how much they love taking pictures with film and, and going in the dark room and making prints. Like, that's my speed, although yeah. I, I'm too lazy to I print. I mean, but the kid's, the kid's like 20-something years old. He lives in L.A. He, he was always used to making digital photos, and now he's making analog photos. And it's, that shows me that there are still people that will carry the torch forward on some of these more classic ways of making art. So, uh, yeah, yeah. A mutual friend of ours mm -hmm. is uh, Chris Johansson. And he's going to promote a photo show, analog, of a photographer that's just deceased, a fairly young one, Dave Schubert. Yep. And you should uh, be clued into that. I, I'm going to be back in San Francisco for right. that show. But uh, it's, I don't know, there, there's, a, there's a solid art base here. It's small. It's not Chicago, which is 10 times as big. It's not New York or San Francisco. But it's its own unique take on the arts. It, it grew up differently. It grew up away from the eastern seaboard and the flakiness of the west coast. And it's a very solid middle class place in a lot of ways. But I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I mean, I like it. I'm happy here. Yeah. And you're, you're, if, I, I want him to be happy here because if yeah. we lose George, that's, it. that's a big <laughs> blow. That's yeah. a body blow. Well, in a modest way. I mean, he's, yeah. he, he hasn't, doesn't have a gallery, but he's using a Correct. good space for his show. Well, we're, we're bringing a group in from the, the Contemporary Arts Center. They're visiting. Uh, we have a connection with those folks. The Art Museum is bringing a group. There's a group from Louisville, uh, from the KMAC Museum that's bringing a group. So hopefully my little role can be to bring people together. And get well, to they meet should each extend other. your show because it is a very strong show, and more people should see it. Okay. Bring, yeah. bring a, <laughs> yeah, bring uh, a crowd in. The other, the other aspect of it is that different people are drawn to different things depending on what uh, resonates with them. Like there's a music component to it of the punk and the hip hop scenes. You, we're down there looking. There's, there's uh, transgressive film. Um, there's straight photography. Um, so like a number of people have come in that are, that are really photo enthusiasts and they find a different uh, artist to be the most compelling to them. <clears throat> if you're into the music scene, you're probably gonna be drawn to those images. Yeah. So I, I, what I was hoping is that people that came here, no matter what even if they weren't interested in the downtown right. scene, they would find something interesting in how the artists worked oh, yeah. and how they're, uh, which was what's fascinating to me. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a museum-worthy show at some level, and it's it deserves more attention and uh, a more of a length of time up. But I don't know. Photo yeah. Focus. There's a hundred different sh shows in Cincinnati this month. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I'm loving Cincinnati.